Over the past 12 months, crews worked to transform the existing wooden coaster into the hybrid masterpiece that it is today. So let's take a look of a time lapse of that progress. Versions, including a 109 foot barrel roll drop, overbanks, and tons of airtime moments. It's a thrilling ride from start to finish. And now to tell you a little bit more about what this great ride means to the park, I would like to introduce you to King's Dominion's Vice President and General Manager, Tony Johnson. Right, let's get rid of the rumors. I was here in 1950, okay? So I want to be sure everybody knows that. If you don't believe, ask some of the folks. Also, I apologize. Uh, I got accused the other day of thinking this was time for Winterfest. It, it's not, okay? We're back and we're focusing on Twisted Timber. So on behalf of all of our full-time and seasonal associates, I want to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to our media and VIP preview. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all the contractors and the subcontractors, and you guys know who you are, for all your hard work. <laughs> Nothing like a speech interruption. We'll go right ahead here. <laughs> Scott, did you do that? Okay. But anyway, thanks to the contractors and subcontractors. I, you know, I was out last uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and everybody was out in the rain and the snow getting this thing ready, and they did an outstanding job. And I also want to give a special thanks to the best associates that anybody would want to ever work with, and those are our full-time and seasonal associates. You, got, you know, you guys, I tell you this all the time, but I really appreciate the job you guys do. And it, so it's truly been a team effort to get us where we are today, and I know you're going to enjoy this product. Now let's get back to Twisted Timbers. And Twisted Timbers is an excellent addition to the product we already have, the rods we already have. You know, we have height and speed in Intimidator 305. We have the world's longest, flawless roller coaster in Dominator. Where else can you get blasted out of a volcano? And now we have the area's first hybrid roller coaster to my right. The ride is incredible. I can tell you this, I have ridden it. And uh, I've also ridden three other Rocky Mountain coasters, and I tell you, I love this coaster. There's no doubt in my mind when you go down that first hill, and then you, there's never a dull moment until you get back into that station. So it is a great ride. So find me later, tell me what you think, but there's no doubt about it, it's going to be a great ride. And as Maggie mentioned, construction took about 12 months, and it's been an incredible process to watch, from building the existing wood frame to adding the steel deck. And I can tell you, Rocky Mountain Construction built a fantastic coaster. So let's take a look at them in action. So we'll watch the video here if you don't mind.
absolutely a great finished product. So thanks to everybody that was involved with that. So what I'd like to do right now is uh, invite uh, Rob Decker, who is our uh, uh, Vice President of Planning and Design and our Senior Vice President Rob Decker who's going to tell you a little bit about the process of designing Twisted Timber. So Rob, welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Uh, what a great video. I mean, today it's all about fun and riding this ride, but that was a lot of work. A lot of people put a lot of time into that. I think the staff here at King's Dominion do a fantastic job preparing this park and delivering the best experiences for everybody. And our partners at the RMC and all the contractors uh, really worked hard for that. And so enjoy it today. So uh, it's all about Twisted Timbers today. And I think it's a great addition uh, for King's Dominion. As Tony said, known for thrill, this ride fits right in with the whole atmosphere here. So we transformed Hurler, right? And putting a steel track over a wood frame um, after studying a lot of different things, it made a lot of sense to us. But it's not just the track that's over that wood frame. It's making it taller. It's getting more inertia. It's changing the profile. It's totally transforming that ride. So it's completely dynamic, a completely different dynamic today. So, um, you know, it's steeper drops, dynamic rolls. There's some crazy airtime hills on there. I think there's so much air time that you'd be more likely to count the times you touch the track. I mean, you're floating so much. So um, that's what we're really hoping for in these rides. That's some pretty clever maneuvers. I think you'll note right away as you approach just the, the twist over drop through there is a fantastic, fantastic experience. So, you know, with a hybrid coaster, you get the best of both worlds. You get a steel roller coaster, the smoothness and the dynamic of that with the precision that you can put into the engineering and taking you where we want you to go and maximize the airtime and maximize the dynamic, you marry that over top of this beautiful tapestry of wood to dive through in and out, get the visceral experience through twisted timbers. It really brings home a terrific ride. So we're really proud of the ride. I hope you're excited to ride it. So it's more than just a roller coaster here. Um, Twisted Timbers is sort of the capstone for this whole Candy Apple Grove area. We've been building it up over time, adding some thrill rides to it. And I think that uh, the park here done a fantastic job. We always think about a park as being a park first, you know, a place of beauty. A really nice plaza here was developed so that we can hold festival events and invite you back for, for you know, this event and that event throughout the year, ride the rides and have a great time. Um, I just wanted to highlight a few more things. The pavers throughout the area, the landscaping, all new. Upgraded some rides here. Uh, Apple's Apple over here uh, is, uh, is a shining example of that to bring up the whole area. And, uh, you know, new guest conveniences too. I uh, want to take care of our guests in our day here with new ride lockers, fun pick station, Coke refresh uh, right here in the plaza, remodel the restrooms. So it all really came together. And I think one of my favorite things coming up this year, there's a new restaurant, the Mac Bowl, which is a gourmet mac and cheese bar. We're going to have some samplings over here for you so you can go through this new restaurant just down here in Kenny or Apple Grove, pick out 30 toppings on your mac and cheese and customize it. So I'm really excited about that. So, hey, I'm really glad you're here today. I'm um, glad we have the sunshine. I know it's a little cold. Uh, when I wrote it this morning, I'm not sure if it was tears of joy or just tears from the, from the cold, but uh, I hope you really enjoy it. We're real excited to have you here. So now I would like to introduce Scott Clemens, our Director of Marketing at King's Dominion. He's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Thanks, Rob. I am the last talking head that will get up here, I promise you that, because you guys are ready to ride, right? Yeah! Seriously? Ride? We're ready to ride? Yeah! Come on, come on. Because I'll stop here and wait until you get louder. So you guys know that because I've done that to you before. So uh, just a couple of things I want to touch on. Here at King's Dominion, we are completely committed to providing fun for everyone. Uh, no matter how big, how tall you are, if you're uh, five years old or you're 89 years old, uh, we have something here for you. Over the years, we've demonstrated this commitment um, and thrills in all sizes um, by adding diverse products uh, over, these, over this time period. 
All ages can have fun. In 2015, we completely renovated and rebranded our water park, Soak City. Uh, we added Hurricane Heights. Has anybody been on Hurricane Heights? Uh, yep, see a couple out there. Um, nothing like having the floor drop out from under your feet going down a slide, right? Uh, in addition to that, we added a children's splash pad so uh, families with young kids could enjoy that. So again, diversity of product is very important to us. In 2016, if you look back there, if you haven't ridden delirium, make sure you do that. Nothing like a spinning pendulum to get your uh, blood pumping. So added that in 2016. And then of course, last year we went, had a little bit of focus on our uh, kids area. We've got the world's largest Peanuts themed children's area. And it is just a fantastic place for families to enjoy. We added three new rides, a wonderful event pavilion, uh, Coke refresh, refresh stations, etc. So again, we are committed to providing diverse products so that everybody can come uh, I don't know, but you know, you can get a thrill on a roller coaster like Twisted Timbers, but I know when I had young kids uh, and they walked up and saw Snoopy for the first time, that was just the biggest thrill because uh, the look on my kid's face. So we are committed to that family experience. So a couple other things. How many pass holders we have here today? Woo! Fantastic. Uh, so best value obviously is the season's pass. And if you have not heard about this, we talked about little kids, and I know Snoopy and Charlie are really excited about this free, free pre-K pass. If you have a kid that's three to five years old, they can get a season's pass for free. So go online and check that out and uh, make sure that you uh, take advantage of that special offer. So enough of selling you a season's pass, but I will say one more thing about a season's pass. Has anybody heard about this thing called Winterfest? Yeah! Boy, you guys must be cold. Winterfest, come on! Gold passes and pre-K, you get Winterfest as well. But I'm not gonna go too much into detail about Winterfest because we're gonna have all of you guys back later on to do this again, but for Winterfest. And knowing Virginia, it'll be 90 degrees that day, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna turn this back over to Maggie and then we're gonna get you guys on the ride. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah.